the collected works of Sri Ramana Maharishi, miscellaneous verses, reply to the mother. When Bhagwan left home, his family tried to trace him, but at first without success. Only some years later, they discovered him at Tirunamalai. The mother, not yet ripe to renounce the word and join him, went to try to persuade him to return to her. At this time he was not speaking, so he wrote briefly that whatever is destined to happen will happen. A poetical rendering of his reply is given below. The fates of souls are all by God ordained, according to the deeds that they have done. That end that's destined never to be attained, will never be achieved by anyone. However hard they try, all those things too that are destined must occur one day, will come to pass whatever you may do to interfere and try their course to stay, and this is certain. At length we come to see that it is best that we should silent be. For the mother's recovery, in 1914, Bhagwan's mother paid a brief visit to him at Tiruvannamalai. While there, she had a severe attack of fever, which some thought to be typhoid. Her life was despaired of, and Bhagwan composed the following poem for her recovery. Needless to say, she recovered. Two years later, she came and took up her abode permanently at Bhagwan's ashram on the hill. Number one, hill of my refuge that cures the ills of recurring births. O oh Lord, it is for thee to cure my mother's fever. O oh God, that smitest death itself, my soul refuge, vouchsafe thy grace unto my mother and shield her from death. What is death if scrutinized? Arunachala, thou blazing fire of jnana, deign to wrap my mother in thy light and make her one with the thee. What need then for cremation? Arunachala, that chasest away illusion, Maya, why delayest thou to dispel my mother's delirium? Besides thee, is there anyone who with maternal solicitude can protect the suppliant soul and ward off the strokes of destiny? Arunachala Ramana, a devotee named Amrita Natha Yati, wrote on a paper a Malayalam verse imploring Bhagwan to save whether he was Hari Vishnu or Shiva Guru Subramaniam or Yativara Shiva or Vararuchi. Bhagwan wrote his reply in the same Malayalam meter on the same paper. A translation of it is given below. In the recesses of the lotus-shaped hearts of all, beginning with Vishnu, there shines as pure intellect absolute consciousness, the Paramatma, who is the same as Arunachala Ramana. When the mind melts with love of Him and reaches the inmost recess of the heart, wherein He dwells as the Beloved, the subtle eye of pure intellect opens and He reveals Himself as pure consciousness. The Self in the Heart This is a poetical version of the eighth stanza of reality in 40 verses. Supplement The circumstances in which 
it was written or explained in the footnote to that stanza in the inmost core the heart shines as brahman alone as i i the self aware enter deep into the heart by search for self or diving deep with breath under check thus abide ever in atman from ramana ramana gita chapter 2 verse 2 sleep while awake deep sleep can ever be had while wide awake by search for for self in dream and waking states pursue the quest for self without a break so long as sleep's ignorance them permeates